What's up, guys? We're back here with another round of Blizzard Elite 8 Tournament. Uh, we have another guest with us today. We have Alberto. Alberto, say what's up. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, you guys probably know Alberto. You've seen him around streams, uh, popping in and out. Um, he's done me a big favor on my channel. I think he was the catalyst that got me uh, over the 40 viewer count. So, <laughs> or the 40 subscriber count. Um, yeah. Yeah, so kind of a big deal, you know. So uh, we're here with coverage of Happy McMuffins and Face and Sorry, Mike, you got two of those spellings wrong. Um, Mike did the video editing. He did a great job, but, you know, this is the only mistake he's made so far. <laughs> All right, yeah. well, let's get into it. Uh, let's do it. It's 37 minutes, so. Um. I won't spoil it. I, I know the how many rounds it went, and I know who won. That's about it. Everything else is going to be just as much a surprise to you guys as it is to me. And me. And Berto. Because he hasn't yeah. seen anything. He doesn't even know what the round outcome is. So It's going to be brand new for me. I'm going to be as surprised. I'm going to be trying to make some good uh, commentating over here, and we'll see how it goes. Yep. So we got Face Him on the right. We got Happy on the left. Happy finishing his bands with Spidey Scream, Spot, and Torch. Uh, I am not a big fan of fighting Spidey Supreme just because I have no idea how to play him. <laughs> so that's like an insta ban for me every time. Um, oh, and then you're going to love mine on defense. He's, he's a nice guy. Oh, did you just get ranked four? <laughs> and he's still ranked three, but he gets a lot of kills. Yeah, it's because nobody lot. knows how to fight him. Um, yeah. Spot, I know kind of how to fight. Anyway, we're commentating, so whatever. Looks like Faceham's going with Ghost and Juggernaut. Um, interesting choice in Ghost for this meta. I mean, I guess she's still fast. Yeah, if you can get a, if you can weave a couple of heavies in, she can be pretty fast. Yeah. But uh, other than that, uh, Happy has gone with uh, his rank four thing, Hercules. Looks like a rank. Three Scorpion and Mephisto. Um, so face him as Tiger. So Tiger can do three of his champs right now. So he can do Mephisto. Actually, he can technically do all of them. But easily he can do Hercules, Thing, and Mephisto. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't. I personally have no idea how to fight Mephisto with Tigra, So that should be fun to watch if it comes down to that. It's uh, not terribly difficult. You just have to make sure that. Your SP2 happens after the Fate Seal, so you have to wait gotcha. it out a little bit, but then actually ducking the SP1s isn't actually that hard. Oh, okay. um, Scorpion, probably, well, you might be using Ghost for Rintra, uh, unless that Rintra is for Gore. No, I think I think Happy's going to probably take uh, Long Shot over here for that. Uh, oh, he does not. Never mind. It's a Ghost of his own. I thought for for go, uh, for Gore long shot would be a pretty good bet, but we'll see what how it goes. Well, let's see who Happy has for Gore. I, mean, I guess he has Mephisto on attack and Rintra for Gore. Yeah. So now yeah. I, I mean, I'll... I wouldn't use a rank three Mephisto on attack against a rank four Gore, so he's probably banking on that Rintra, but I don't know. But up yeah. first we have Domino on defense for Happy, Korg for Facing. Mm, if I'm being honest with you, uh, like Hercules against Domino is a pretty good matchup since you can just, you know, shallow evade her every single time and build beats, feats of strength. But uh, it all depends on RNG on this one. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, especially in this meta, because you're constantly getting the buffs, but then she can also constantly crit failure buffs. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's interesting. And also Korg against... Uh, Ghost is a pretty good matchup because you get like the automatic intercepts uh, to get the shield down. Um, so, yeah, that's I feel right. like that's also an RNG matchup though. Oh, we got having yeah. some good RNG. See if that she... was good. Oh Ooh. yeah, perfectly timed. Perfect. Yep. Yes. And Dex too. Over on face and side looks like. Mm -hmm. It's not going terribly well. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know if you've noticed, but like a couple of updates ago, uh, Ghost, when you phase with her, the defender will always like dash back and doesn't really want to hit into you anymore. Um, I don't play Ghost that often, so you don't play Ghost that often, all right. Um, it's been a little bit since I've seriously played Ghost. I think that was just because I had to in a quest. Uh, I, I I think it's just because you you like to use Korg on attack. I think that's like oh, your thing. Naturally, I mean. <laughs> how much skill does it take to play, you know, Hercules? But if you can play Korg on attack, you know, you've made it. Yeah, you you have. Ask Q. Q knows. Looks like Happy's gonna take this one. I think if he can get him down. Oh, and it gets Ooh. with the unblockable. Oh, that oh could've... no! I think now I think Faceham's got it. Yeah, Faceham's. Yep. Oh, yep. you were 100% right on that one. Wow. Yikes. Happy had that match until 2% or 3% or whatever it was. Yeah, he tried to go for that uh, SP1 intercept, but the unblockable unstoppable really got him there. That was bad. That I wonder, was did he get bad. his block or did it was it just because he dexed? I don't. I think he he went for the dash and then hit the special and then Korg just blocked, and then he triggered unstoppable and unblockable. It just yeah, took too much damage. Sucks. So see, uh, face him. Um, I just noticed he's got French on his screen. I think that's French anyway. Uh, Fossine? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I knew that he was in the U.S., but I didn't know. Yeah, the alliance yeah. is a little. It's a little trick there, you know. Yeah. There's nothing so, to do. Scorpion, Hercules, Tiger thing. Um, this is Tiger, 100%. As long as he can play it right. Yeah. I completely agree. Not a doubt in my mind. The only bad thing about Tigra is when, you know, your neutralize, like, falls off and thing is at 15 stacks. That's the only, like, tricky. Well, you can manage that. Here's how you manage that. You just don't get him to 15 stacks. That's oh, okay. a pro, pro tip for you. There we go. That's all I needed. See, like, right, right there that he had to block to not... That's what I was talking about. Oh, that was pretty good spacing on the heavy. Yep, and it's almost, I think, one more SP2 is going to do it. Oh, but it looks like Happy is nuking. Yeah. Because I forgot how good Hercules <laughs> is in this meta. It's Did been a you? minute. Oh, and then Faison just gets smacked. And I think he's, yeah, this is definitely Happy. 100%. I would, yeah, I would have said that was Faison 100%, but... Again, it's like you, playing in, playing in Gladiator players. Circuit, I forget how this whole node works sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So like whenever you go to like friendly matches, I'm like having to relearn. Uh, and I for just forgot how good Hercules was in this meta. Oh, yes. and it gets... just, there we go. That rank four thing really came in clutch. Dang, 32 seconds. That's really good. That is really good. All right, we got the advantage on in this third round. Um, let's see if, uh, if Happy places down, it's got to be Mephisto. Yeah. Yeah. I think Faceham has to put down Gore. Faceham okay, puts down Juggernaut. And that was a mistake. Yeah. I'd put down Mephisto 100%. Ghost is, takes a long time. That is yeah. unless... Juggernaut gets his unstoppables, but even then... Yeah, just one parry and they're gone. I don't know. I think this is 100% happy. Because not, not, only, not only can face him not take advantage of the heavies because of the fate seal, just the matchup class advantage is huge. Yeah, look at that. So when I he act I'm, not, since I'm not really a ghost player that much. It, when he activates his aura, does that give you your uh, your fury buffs? I guess not. Yeah, uh, it it does not. No, it's only if you got hit with the incinerates from the SP one. Like, see, right now it looks pretty good, but wait till Juggernaut throws another SP one, you'll see the difference. Yep, there it is. Yeah, he's pretty much done at this point. Yeah. And now Ghost also has to deal with the healing that Mephisto does. So, yeah. GG's is happy. 
round one. Nice job, Happy. 100% Juggernaut. I got not a great defender, but uh, we had another Juggernaut fight go not so well with Happy. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He's. Um, I won't spoil that to you, but he was playing KT. Um, oh, I saw. I saw. I saw the stream. I saw the stream. Yeah. I saw that stream. So Happy is gonna take around one. All right, well, you know what they say. After round one, it's you know how your opponent plays. You get a clean slate, and you just got to go in and, and take it. So let's see if uh, Faceham can do it. So it looks like Faceham still opted for the Torch ban, even though he knows that Happy banned Torch in the first round. That seems like if you know someone's going to ban the champ, I don't know. seems like you could use that as an extra ban. Yeah, but you know, in, in the heat of the moment, you forget your opponent's bans, and yeah. then you just, you know, you get into like a rhythm. And I typically never change my bans if unless I'm like down 2-0, and then I'm like, all right, something's got to change. You got to surprise them somehow, remove an attacker. Like I would never let any of you guys have Tiger, never, zero. <laughs> but you know, face their own, right? And I, I never ban Tiger because I'm. I'm moderately decent with her. I'm not thin mm. good with her, but I'm pretty good with her. Anyway, not about hey. us. Not about us. It's all about practice. All about practice. Yeah. Um, looks like Happy's getting that Mephisto again, and he's got a tiger of his own, which should combat. Uh, well, doesn't do Kingpin that well, or Korg, or Domino. So. Well, I mean, war. To be honest with you, one of my MVPs for this meta is definitely Warlock. Warlock can do that Domino. Warlock can do that Korg. Warlock can do that Kingpin really well. And then on defense, not a lot of his champs can do Warlock that well. Maybe Tigra. You could maybe. No, you can't really give me the lowdown on that one. Well. Yeah. No, it's not a very fun Tiger matchup. It's Tiger Warlock. Yeah. Um, if I was happy, I'd place that Warlock on defense ASAP. But yeah, Mephisto is a good shout too. Yeah. But they both have... I think Faceham's probably looking at who he can use Tiger against on his side, and it only looks like Hercules, really. So I wouldn't be surprised here if Faceham goes for the Tiger-Mephisto match. Um, I've seen some like really good players do Nick Fury with Tigra. It's just you have to do a lot of reparrying, but it, it can be done like pretty well. Yeah, it means it's about a 65-ish second match still, but Tigra yeah. Mephisto, this will take about maximum 35 seconds if everything goes right. Okay. Um, Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, so he'll just get him. Yeah, he's waiting it out a little bit. you got to wait out that Fate Seal. But once you do... Dex back, wait for the SP1, and just hope he doesn't proc an aura. Oh, he didn't get his uh, dash in, right? He got lucky, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, no, but Kingpin so against Korg is actually a really good matchup. So. There, there, there it is. Okay. Now I see what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. And you Tiger players. <laughs> I needed to launch that SP1. There it is, and done. Wow, that's impressive. He needed, he needed that one after losing the first round. Now he's got a little bit more options in the second round. Yeah. I think this uh, might have also been a calculated throw because Happy has to have known that that fight's going quick. Um, it can go bad, but since we're talking about very skilled players, you just have to assume it's not going bad. Yeah. Uh, if I was if I was facing right now, I would throw down that domino because he can counter everything except Warlock on Happy's side. And Domino sucks against Warlock regardless, so he's gotta take the risk. He's gotta bait out that Warlock. Yeah. Cause he, it's uh, tough. Omega Sentinel can do Warlock, but not easily. Yeah, not too well. He's gotta 
If Faison wants to win this one, he has to bait out that Warlock because Happy has nothing for him. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he puts uh, Domino down right now. Yeah, let's let's see how that goes. So face him is going first, and he goes king ten. Oh, Domino! Nope. All right, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Good job. Good job. <laughs> we got one right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Usually I'm just, end I'm up just trying to commentating. Guess yeah, I'm just commentating how I would play it. Like I, I need to get that warlock off the board. So he's gonna archangel this probably. Yeah, that's a rank three versus rank four, and then Happy's got a rank four warlock versus rank three Domino. With the node, he's still going to be getting a lot of power. I'm still yeah. giving this to Happy, but then round three, what's he got? Uh, we'll see. We, we have to see if Happy knows how to... F there is a way to fight Domino with Warlock to take minimal crit failure damage. And uh, let's see if Happy knows how to do it. Because if you start parrying, you're just going to probably degen. Or, you know, take crit failure damage. Yep, there it is. See? Look at that. Well, once you get that infection up, you reduce the uh, uh, the amount of times that crit failure occurs. Really? I thought it was like only offensive ability accuracy. But, uh, yeah. Good, good defensive. To See, I'll have to check. I think I sound like an idiot here. Uh, uh, it launches that SP2 just right before the infection came on, so we only got two of the armor breaks. Yep, yep. And see, like, every time you try to degen Domino from healing with willpower, you also take crit failure damage. So you ideally want to throw that SP2 when you can get the kill. So he, yeah. And then whatever so. the freaking relics do. I don't know what the vision striker does. <laughs> Yeah, you, you got me there too, buddy. Does I anybody have, I know what the relics do at this point, except for Juggernaut? Like, <laughs> that's literally the only. And I know that the Hulk one gives like physical vulnerability, so I use it with Scorpion sometimes. But other than that, I have no idea. So we got it's a one-one match so far. Looks like Happy is gonna get rid of that Archangel this time. Yeah. Okay. So he's switching it up, and uh, let's see. And then Spider Supreme. Well done. I think. Again, that goes back to he knows that Faceham's going to ban Torch. Why would he ban Torch himself? So get rid of another player on the board. Yeah, dude. Smart call. Well done, Blizzard. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Man. I know things. Okay. Hey, no, no. I'm, uh, I agree. I'm. I'm. You. I do know that you know things. I do. Yeah. Jack of all trades, master of none over here. That's what I am. Uh, hey. As long as you can do something right, you know? That's all that matters. It's my life motto. As long yeah. as something's right. Alright, let's see. Hercules and Nimrod for happy, solid choices, buff heavy. Yeah. Got Nick Fury, which honestly in this meta, Nick Fury's... I mean, he's still Nick Fury, like it takes a bit, but... He's not nearly as daunting as he is in other metas. Like Hulk yeah, and Hercules, like, that, yeah. I mean, easily a sub-50 second fight. Yeah, because that, that rich can rich get richer can sometimes help you out pushing him to that SP2. But uh, yeah, Hulkling here, Hulkling to me is the best attacker in this meta, 100%. And one of the best defenders. Yes. The, th the thing with defense is if you have like, like I like to use my Spidey Supreme against him and he does really well, really well. And Rintra, and then you got Tigra. So yeah, Val Valkyrie can also take him down pretty easily. Well, I guess that's yeah, because you're not uh, you're only hitting in the block. You're not actually hitting him. So exactly, yeah. That's why I'm, I'm like, that's why I don't want to take my Valkyrie to rank four because, like, in this meta, she's like very, very good. But for other meta, she's like not as good. So. Well, you should watch uh, Finn's Valkyrie versus Quark fight. Uh, that was yeah. nasty. How I, I, I've well seen it, I've seen it. It was very, very good. Very, very yeah. good. So face him getting his uh, rank 4 domino. Is that a max sig? Mm. Like might be? Uh, I I don't, I don't. Mine is like 20,000 PI. Rank 4 is like 200. So I don't think so. But I might be wrong. 
Well, I did a mastery setup where almost none of my champs, except for like Doom and uh, like uh, Quicksilver, are above 20,000. Everybody else isn't. Oh. So they might have a similar mastery setup. Yeah, my mastery setup is like full offense, except and then no recoil masteries. So that's it. Yeah. So we got Korg. We got the Korg. Um, quite a few people actually. Valkyrie, if you're if you're feeling brave, could be a good one. I think he might. Go, well, yeah, because he's got Hood for Hulkling, so he might go Valkyrie at this point. Hood also works for Korg. It's actually an under underrated. And Hercules, yeah, Hercules could also do it. Nick Fury against Rentra, that's not, <clears throat> that's not gonna go well. I mean, it's gonna go okay. No. He's gonna get him like three quarters of the way down, probably. Yeah, I mean, I, I my money here is on Hercules. I think for Happy sure. takes this round. Yeah, unless he just dies completely, I think this is all Happy's. Yeah, but hey, I've been wrong before, so. Just needs to be a little bit. Yep, and now Rockfield down, so we can put Infuriate on. I always make that mistake of getting the Infuriate on Korg when he has his Rockfield up. <laughs> yeah. So. And heavy count. I get a heavy in. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Oh no, he's. Uh, yeah, that was a good smart because if you'd done the heavy counter, you'd have heavy it into the Rockfield. And I mean, Happy is one of the best Battlegrounds players out there, so. Yeah, and he does it with a roster. I mean, like he's got a decent roster, but it's not like on the level yeah. with some of these guys. So it's pretty impressive. I mean, he is the first Battlegrounds champion in the Summoner Showdown, so. You know. Yeah, that is true. And yeah, Korg should go down with this one. And I wonder. Is if this is this best of five or best of three? It's best of five. And I okay. wonder if this was a. Uh, calculated move for facing yeah it had to be because he didn't like the only thing i've seen people do tigra versus rentra pretty well and i use domino as well but you know it takes time it takes a lot of time tigra versus rentra can get pretty sketchy though <laughs> um yeah. but also yeah because it looked like he was just taking hits on purpose so I, I think he was trying to just get down to that fury or to that second life to get the fury oh, well, but at I this hope. point it's kind of too little yeah. too late it's obviously happy's battle but happy yeah battle. so um yeah so i think that happy needs to put down that korg and then face him has to use that doom unless you know something that i don't no, that looks like, I mean, it's either Korg or Valkyrie, but he can Domino Valkyrie pretty well. Um, yeah. But once, yeah, it's going to be Korg. I think yeah. Happy's going to go for a 2 well here. I don't think he's going to throw around because if he does lose the second round, he's got not a lot for round three. Yeah, he has to take it here. So let's see what he does. Yep, yep. Korg. And then... No, no. Uh, he's I got think, nothing. Yeah. Now he's gonna have to. He's gonna use Hood for this Hyperion. Oh, okay. So he's gonna go Domino for Korg. Interesting. That is. I mean, so I'm, when I'm evaluating these these matches, I'm always like, that seems like a dumb decision. But then, usually nine times out of ten, I end up watching it, and it's like. Completely it, it works. Back. Yeah, com um, it completely works, and I'm just like, look like a fool, but yeah. I'll try to. No, I try to stay quiet when I can. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean, like it. It works. It's just it would work so much better if Korg was like not bleed immune, but it it does work. Oh. Well, it doesn't help that she's got the double hit. So if you try and go and hit into block. Or the double exactly. medium. You hit in a block yep. and it hit in the rock field, then you're taking damage. Yeah. Um, and and the double medium, like hitting Korg, like not on the block, also does double the Thorn's damage. So it's not. Yeah. But see that SP2 takes out a lot. It's an RNG fight. So 
Happy's got his passive Pierce with the two Pierce buffs up and passive Fury. He's going to try yeah, and not let... Happy. Yeah, this is all Happy. So round two will go to Happy. Not not a terrible play by uh, Faceham, but by any means. 54 yeah, seconds. Too much help. 76 too much help loss. Yeah. Mm. To imagine, be fair, though, imagine Doom is tanky, so you just assume he take a long time. Like, I mean... Yeah, but Valkyrie in this meta overpowered. Yeah. Valkyrie's just stupid uh, in this meta. Yeah. So, Blizzard, imagine, uh, you know, you have a tournament match, and then you go, you lose your match, and then you go home, and you tell your wife, hey, I lost to a guy named Happy McMuffins. <laughs> How would you feel? I think I'd probably keep my mouth shut. Okay. Fine. Especially since I, I, my wife I, calls I, this a, uh, a stupid game, so uh, I probably wouldn't tell her I played in a tournament at all, if I'm being honest. You know... I completely agree with you. My <laughs> girlfriend is all is the same. She's like, you spend way too much time on that. I need you to spend more time on me. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> but hey, what can you do? <sighs> oh, any new rank fours I should know about, Blizzards? Oh, I guess we should talk about this. Uh, yeah, I uh, I took Mephisto to rank four. Uh, okay. and I took CGR, um, I think mainly because of the upcoming meta in the first, uh, the first week is Power Shield, so, mm -hmm. yeah. That was very good, very reason. good. I like it, I like it. I took two Cosmic Champs, but I'm, I'm just not going to tell you which. Okay, that seems fair. Yeah, I mean, I just, I wait for you to tell me yours, and then <laughs> do what Jay will does and then not tell you mine. But it works every time. Oh, naturally. Yes. I mean, it's not like I'll be able to see him or anything, but okay, cool. <laughs> Fine, I'll, I'll be fair. It was Beast and OG Iron Man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up. Yes. For sure. You got it. Uh, so you have a thing counter? I guess he's got Quicksilver and Gallon. So yeah, he's got a thing counter. Yeah. Um, I've seen I've seen people do. Uh, I mean, he also has I think Tigra, no? Or was oh, I? Oh, that's being... right. So he has yeah, multiple thing counters. You know, one time I was like, oh, I have Rintra. That's another thing counter. And then I tried it out, and let me tell you, <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. It can go okay. It's not yeah. great. Uh, ooh, but uh, Juggernaut against Nick Fury, that's going to go either in about 35 seconds or it's yeah, going to take it the entire time. Depends yeah, on if it all throws at SP1. Exactly. Exactly what I was about to say. You just have to hold your block and pray that he doesn't throw an SP1. Oh, and something I learned from KT about Juggernaut, um, if you're trying to do, like dash back to do a like baiting specials, if you dash back with your the right side, uh, then it doesn't take away your unstoppable buffs. Well, you, I think we're going to have to talk about that later because what do you mean by right side? So, like, if you swipe back to your le the left side of the screen, then the initial input is block. So it takes away an unstoppable Ooh. buff. But if you swipe back to the right side of your screen, there's no block input. So, um, Interesting. Yeah, it okay. doesn't take away unstoppable. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just trying to help people yeah. out, and for the for the people uh, watching right now, they may not know that either. It looks no, like Nick Fury's in a second show. life, but here comes the big damage time. I don't think 430 char or 500 charges are going to be enough to get him down though. 710. I think it's going to take about 10. Oh, no, nope, nope, he got done. him. Looks like that's uh, wild. Face him is also done. Wow, Happy's gonna be beating himself up on this one. That is that is hard to take in. Wow. How many points yeah. is that? Fifty something? Sixty? Uh, let's see. Quick math. It's about yeah. It's about sixty plus another ten, seventy something points. You would be amazed how many matches in this tournament have gone down to less than a hundred points. That's horrible. Yeah. It's crazy. 
Um, so he places down Quicksilver, and I think Happy's gonna have to go with CGR here. And, Don't uh, Happy be a player, go Quark against Quicksilver. Please go Quark against Quicksilver. Do it. I mean, if, if, if he wants to win, the people then need no. it. The people want Quark. Uh, no, I, I, think, I think nobody here at home watching this is going to be like, oh, yes, let's go, Korg. Okay, well, to be fair, there are only two champs that Korg has a realistic shot of out-damaging or out an opponent on, and those champs are Quicksilver and Scorpion. I've gotten sub-45 second fights with uh, Korg against Quicksilver. So you're telling me that that armor break is pretty potent, eh? Yeah, because he's constantly evading, building up those... Uh, uh, the crowd excitement, so it it basically builds to max almost like the entire time. Interesting. Good to know, Blizzard. I'm I'm now never gonna do Korg again. <laughs> You're never gonna do Korg. Yeah, even though you gave me this great insight, it's it's still not gonna happen. No. And face him takes round two with a I mean, Tiger versus Sweet. Omega Sentinel. That's. Yeah. I think he was just hoping to get a little bit lucky. But yeah, no. That's now it's two sometimes two. it doesn't roll your way. <laughs> For like I don't the know last if, I don't, minute. I don't know if you noticed Blizz, but he went back to banning Torch. Mm. That's true. I don't think Basin's going to ban Torch this time. Nope. Nope. He bans a Gallon, but he just won with Gallon. That's an interesting strategy. I think Faison's just trying to get into his head because he's been switching up his bands way more than Happy has. And I so. think, I think the Spidey Supreme and Spot ban at this point. I think those are just kind of uh, their new champ bands. Yeah. I honestly get a little irritated when people put them in their deck because they have no intention of playing them on offense. Um, I mean, you might play the Spider-Man Supreme, but. Like there's I a lot only of people that purposely put them in there only as defenders because nobody knows how to fight them yet. But come the second round, that's not going to be the case. Oh yeah, no, I 100%, I 100% put Spidey Supreme in my deck for defense. But for Hulkling, he can he can work really well. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so Happy's got choice of Masakre, which. Yeah, I would take that Masakre for... Yeah, uh, he doesn't really have much for Rentra, except for Eye Bomb, if he takes yeah. Eye Bomb, but that's still a slow as hell fight. Yeah, I don't... I've never understood why people think Eye Bomb... Like, I, I understand Eye Bomb's worth, it's just he is way too slow in BGs. Like, it's always a minute, no matter what you do. Well, with the... Changes to how the score is calculated with health pool being such a massive like thing. Um, even yeah. he'll finish with full health most of the time, so that's almost like a forty-five thousand point guarantee. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, you know, it's whoever can nuke faster. That's that's what BGs is all about, no matter the meta. Yeah, in this one, and I kind of discovered this in KT's tournament too, is that. Uh, you really got a nuke. Like, the slow champs aren't going to cut it. Unless you just get, like, a really perfect matchup. Like, Korg is going to take a long time no matter who you use. Yeah. Okay, so he puts down Korg, and I think Happy... Can... Can Tiger do Korg? Does that uh, work? Uh, not well. Okay. Because the ruptures are still going to go towards the, uh, the rock field, and so... If you get lucky and get the rock field down, you can kind of Korg him if you, like, just do light, 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 get the rock field down, and then go into your, like, normal Tiger cycle, but that, it takes way too long. Yeah, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but, like, when we're questing, I don't know about you, but I always go for, like, a light at the beginning of the fight, um, and in BGs, you can get parried, and it's not, it's not good. Alright, so he's taking a little bit of damage with Juggy, but didn't quite did get those 10 Unstoppables. So he didn't get the uh, the Fury buff. And it looks like Faceham's got 7 uh, beats. 
what they're called, right? Feet? Yes, that's correct. Ooh, but he gets the SP3. This will stun him, but it's not what he at wanted. Least, at least Juggernaut's SP3 isn't a really long one. Oh, that's true. Kind of, like, kind of a short one, so it's like not too bad. Like, what does Quicksilver's SP3 take now? Like, oh my gosh. Too long. It's like watching Ooh. a freaking movie. <laughs> And that's why I, I don't put Professor X in my deck, because that, like, start screen thing it just takes too long. Yeah, that's like five seconds automatically off the clock, in addition to yeah. the five seconds of run-up time you get before you can even fight each other. Exactly, so it's not even worth it. Yeah. I mean, Ooh. perhaps in Power Shield. Maybe. Yeah, that's true. So this looks like face him. yep. Faceim's got him because, again, the health field, or the health pool, um, just got him with more health, even though it was a decently faster time on Happy's part. The songs are nasty on board. Yeah, that's a thousand point different. And Happy's got to be kicking himself right now. Yeah. But let's see if he can rebound back from it. If I was facing, I'd put down that Mephisto and like have him Tiger and then put Hulkling down and you, yep, that's what I would do. Yeah, because he doesn't have a great Rintra option. He has Scorpion. Scorpion's going to be faster than, uh, oh, oh, right, he has Archangel. What am I saying? I didn't yeah. even see that. To well, if every card goes to plan, I'm going face him here. Yeah, unless RNG Jesus is in the happiest favor and he doesn't get any bleeds off the start. Mm-hmm. Let's see. One bleed. There's one. Looks like he's just trying to... Oh, now he's got three and it's... Oh, oh yeah. three neurals. It's done. Yeah. So, unless he screws up on the health... Uh, so here's the problem with doing an eye bar against Rincher. You have to knock him down constantly because you are always putting debuffs on him. Yep. Yeah. So That's why AA's play style is perfect against Rincher. Yeah. Not my favorite Rincher counter AA, but he's definitely up there. It does get a little bit annoying though when you get the neuros expiring before he throws a special and then they start yes. expiring back to back to back. Yes. And you just have yeah. to sit there like, alright, come on. Yeah, like, you gotta like re up it. It's not, not fun, but yeah. There we All go. Right. Face him takes it. And it looks like Face him is gonna take the match. Yep. That was really well played by Happy with some really close matches, but dang, you hate yeah. to see it. I mean, you like to see it for Face him, but you hate to see it for Happy. Because yeah. he played really well. I mean, you know, that's how it goes. BGs, you gotta play your best and, you know, not put Eyebomb in your deck. And it looks like that is gonna do it with Face Him taking the match 3 2 2. Well done. Congrats to both of them. They played really well. Yeah, congrats, guys. So, um,. This will conclude the first round of the tournament with face him advancing. Uh, the second round has already been played. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen the results on Legacy's channel with him playing TJ. I don't know what happened there. I know who won. I don't know what else happened. Um, and then face him ended up... Actually, I don't know if I've covered that match yet, so I'll keep quiet. <laughs> the videos have been kind of all over the place, but uh, Alberto... Do you have any final words? Any last uh, words? No, not really. Just uh, guys, sub to my boy Blizzard. He's growing. He's going to be a big uh, heck uh, genius in Kabam, and he can show you some really cool things. Make sure to drop him a sub. Really good guy. Always comes to my streams, and I appreciate him a lot. And uh, thank you for having me, my guy. Well, thank you, and I will be posting a link to Alberto's channel in the description of this. Um, he does lots of uh, really cool streams, like uh, uh, the copyright streams are always fun. Uh, and I mean, I mean, let's be honest, those are the most fun streams. Yeah, but they are. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, Berto was a little bit upset that I didn't invite him to this tournament. So, um, <laughs> next round. Next time, next time. Next yeah, time. next round. Uh, you'll, you'll be in the, the pool of uh, 128. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, 16. 16 is cool. 16 is cool. Yeah, but I think with the break coming up, um, why don't we go ahead and spoil this? I think we can go ahead and spoil this. Um, just a second. No, actually, let's not do that. I, I was going to show you the bracket, but uh, there's a couple videos still to do that are involving the second round and the loser's bracket. So that'll be it. Again, Berto's link is going to be in the description. Thank you so much for the dual commentary, taking the time. Um, and that will do it for this match. Congratulations to face him. Um, and yeah, signing out.